you know you have a gut issue, you know you have IBS, maybe you've been told you have SIBO, whatever, you know that there's something going on with your digestion. Yes, you need to do a gut protocol to kind of restore balance to this microbiome. But before doing that, prep your gut with an acute anti-inflammatory diet change, protocol, supplementation, et cetera, to Mm -hmm. prepare you for the gut protocol. And that could include a two or three week low FODMAP diet or a two or three week ketogenic or carnivore diet, whatever that person needs. And it probably does also include cutting out foods that seem to be triggers for you. Start by trying to find if there's any trigger foods in the diet or if there's mold in the environment Mm -hmm. first, because typically if there's a sensitivity or an allergy, um, it's going to be an impetus for inflammation. So whenever the gut is inflamed, it actually like begets more inflammation, like in a vicious cycle. Mm. And so we actually need to remove the stimulus that's causing that in order to optimize the microbiome. If you, let's say, take the gut protocol with the HMOs, it can cause like pretty intense bloating and gas in people who have inflammation in their gut lining. And so if you jump directly to that, actually, I I can use that as a reliable marker for whether somebody's guts inflamed. Like if they take the HMOs and they get super gassy, I know for a fact, like they've got inflammation in their gut, 